Let's go fishing. Well, made it. Let's see what we catch. The target of the day is Jack's melt. Striper's not in season. And uh, we might have some luck with a, uh, with a schoolie or two, but let's see if we can put any smell on my ultralight. All right, today we're going with some unfrozen shrimp from my last trip. Last couple times I was here, threw it on a high-low rig, landed a couple schoolies and some smelt. So let's see if that does a trick. All right, rig of choice is my seven foot Daiwa Presso ultralight rod tied to the Kuma uh, True R20, which they don't make in the US. I had to source one in Japan. Uh, got eight pound braid tied to four pound fluoro with uh, some size six mosquito hooks. So had luck with this setup last time, but it was on a medium uh, weight rod. I'm gonna try it on an ultralight and see uh, if it's any better. All right, first cast. Like any baited rod, it's all about baiting and waiting. All right, a couple of minutes in, got a hit. Nope. And it's rod sensitive. Got something. Oh, it's, it's got to be a tiny little smell. Ooh, it's taking me. Nice. Yee. Hey, check that out. That's a good size melt. All right, first cast. First cast, first fish. Hell yeah. Good size melt on uh, my little high low on my ultralight. First dockfish on my uh, on my channel, pretty sick. Hey, not too bad, huh? I gotta cut them loose. This is the, this is the worst part. Smell. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I've tried it before. Even crabs don't like smell. I hate smell. My mom used to cook it up. I'm like, ugh, this is nasty. I just like catching them because they're they're fighters, man. All right, well, this guy inhaled the shrimp. They're giving me my hook back. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, that guy inhaled my hook. Oh wow. I just pulled the eye out of the smell from inside his own head. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to harvest this fish. Sorry, bro. Oh, uh, you nasty. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I was here for catch and release only, but uh, pulling that hook out proved a little difficult kind of gnarly so we're gonna harvest this fish I don't like to eat them because to me they taste like burnt rubber but my mom's Filipina she'll she'll figure out a way to make this taste great <laughs> we'll throw them in the bag all right bro later all right when unhooking a fish goes bad next time uh with these small setups I'm gonna <laughs> I'll use my pliers <laughs> oh, I feel guilty but we're gonna eat them, so I mean, I put them through some unnecessary suffering, I think. But you know, we're gonna eat them, we're gonna consume them, so at least his life won't go to waste. Actually, you know what? My mom's not gonna want them, but I'm gonna keep them for crab season, which is uh, just around the corner. I think it starts in about seven days, so we'll keep them as a uh, as crab bait. Wow, this rod is so sensitive; I can feel the fish fart right next to my line. Somebody's tapping it. Take it, take it, take it. Ooh, almost had him. Just playing cat and mouse with whoever's here. Got Rob, so I'm putting a fresh piece on. See if I can get him. You on your work break too? <laughs> Uh, I gotcha. Got early, so yeah, dude. Yeah, I keep my gear in my car too, just in case. 
All right, it's been about 30 minutes since uh, I pulled up that smelt and it looks like the tide has gone completely slack. Yeah. Uh, we might be at the tail end of, a, of the peak high here. So I think the bite's dead and it's probably gonna stay dead, dead past the, when I gotta go. So this might be my last little line in, but walked away with a decent sized smelt for this little pier. Yeah, they must, they must spawn in here, just stick around. Oh. Yeah, yeah. All right, got one. Got one of my last casts. All right. Yee. All right. I'll stop playing this guy. Bring him in. Woo. All right. Got him on the shrimp. Last little smelt. Yee. Like a, like a nice, nice that's a good size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, dude, I'm gonna be going into my meeting smelling like. All right, got my. All right, I'm gonna unhook this guy and uh, break down. Not too bad for a, a lunch hour, right? Oh, oh, good. Unhooked himself. Let's get the release. Hopefully, he didn't take my hook. All right, buddy. You're lucky you kept your eyeball. Peace. Oh, miss. All right, dude. I'm out. Mission successful. I told you we'd only catch Jack Smelt here. And that's what we caught. So I'm gonna use them as a uh, crab bait. Crabs don't, Dungeness crabs uh, don't really like to bite them, but uh, Dungeness crabs don't really like to eat them. Told you, no one really likes to eat them. But they're good filler material for your uh, crab snare, so um, I'll keep them around, chop them up, put them to good use, and harvest them since uh, I gave them the most savage uh, unhooking I've ever seen. It was pretty terrible. So, just a reminder Dungeness crab season opens Saturday, November 5th. Uh, check your local rules and regulations to make sure that date's still valid come November 5th because depending on conditions, they might extend it like they did last year. So I'll see you guys at the pier. Thanks for watching.